Hello everybody, um, this is my white and yellow uh, Max No. He is 100% Het Bell Albino and 66% Het Eclipse. Um, I'm hoping that he goes by December, January time. I have a Tangerine Bell Albino Het Radar to prove him out. And I have a Snow Bell to breed to him and uh, a Bold Bell. So three females that will be ready. The bold bell will not be ready by January. She is the same size and young so it would be next season for like I would say same, about this time next year. Um, so we'll see. But um, I have a female coming that's a hypo white and yellow 100% hit radar and I'm really excited about the white and yellow group um, I have that I got from Matt. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you the bold bell that I have and we'll go from there. Here is my bold bell. Um, I plan on breeding her to the white and yellow. 100% hat bell, 66% hat um, eclipse. He's also max snow so I should be able to make some max snow bolds that are white and yellow. Um, she's coming on up. I'm just filming in this 28 quart um, because their cages have the hides in them and all that good stuff uh, and I thought it would be easier but no of course they're going to be jumpy. She's a jumpy animal anyway. She's a hog. She eats and eats and eats and eats and eats. Hey everybody. Um a lot of people have been emailing me asking me what I have in my new projects. I showed you guys some um, stuff that I do have. Uh, I'm not sure all the clips I'm going to be putting in this video, but I'll see. Um, I got a few clips from the last few days, and I got some clips I just took, and we'll go from there. Um, I do have some more animals coming, uh, but to give an example of what we have at Orner Exotics and what we're going to be working with, um, we do have white and yellow bell stuff, white and yellow radar stuff. Um, I have a white and yellow ra het radar female. Um, she's also hypo. Um, I have a male uh, Max No white and yellow het bell possible het um, eclipse. Um, it's a 66 percenter, so if we hit, that's a cool thing. Um, so I got my radars, and I got my group of radars. I got my Max No um, bell het radar going to a radar. I have radar female. Um, so next season I should be covered on radar stuff. Um, I also have an atomic rain coming, for people who don't know that, I got an atomic rainwater, water, um, albino, and I got an atomic female coming, so I am in atomics now and rainwater. Um, I have a raptor coming, I just couldn't pass up the deal. That's the only tremper in my whole group, so I gotta find something to breed that to, but I'm talking to another friend online about maybe getting a raptor, maybe a blood raptor, something to breed to it and maybe a few other females to go with that group. Um, what else do I got? I gotta think, I have so much stuff coming. Um, the atomics are new. I'm not totally sure, honestly. Um, I got eclipses coming, pure eclipses coming, so I got that coming also. Um, so I should have a lot of the avenues covered. Uh, for next season, um, I am going to officially say right now I am not releasing any white and yellow bell male stuff at all. It will not be released. I am not incubating heavy for them. I am not even breeding heavy white and yellow bell. I'm going very specific to build my collection to what I want before I release. Um, it's just a smart thing to do as a breeder and um, I don't want it to get in the wrong hands if people understand that. Um, other than that, eh, not much going on. You can check out the new page on Facebook. That is the Gecko blog. Um, I took it to Facebook because the forum's not taking off that fast, so I made a Facebook page. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll have the link in the description here. So I'll check you guys later. Any questions, put a comment on this or go to the Facebook page and ask away. All right, talk to you guys later. I'm sorry for the bad lighting guys, um, I'm down in the basement, still in Green Bay, but I'm just going to show you guys how I set up geckos. Um, so I'm not sure which video this is going to go on, I'm just going to make a bunch of clips um, in the next few days and I'm just going to put them up. 
So, um, basically this here is a double head radar. It's a normal. Um, he's a big boy. He is over 100 grams now. Um, he is a few years old. Proven breeder. Um, but he is a big gecko. Uh, he fathered all of my bellobinos this year and my eclipses and my snowbells. So basically what I do is a small hide for a male. They have, I feed super worms um, and a water dish. Very, very simple. They're in a rack. It stays around 89 to 93 degrees back there. Up in the front it stays around 72. So they can do what they need to do. Um, yes, this is a 28 quart. Uh, single males will either go in a little bit smaller or a 28 quart. Um, this matters on rack spacing I have. Uh, what I am using for vitamin and calcium is Rapashi. Um, don't mind the mess because I am kind of condensing down for the move to Ohio. Um, but we have Rapashi there. I'm trying it out. I might be switching over to something different. I am looking at it into it right now. Um, but I haven't had any bad things happen with this stuff. Uh, it's just with larger collections, this might get expensive. I'm not totally sure, so I'm going to um, look into it. All right, I will go on to the next gecko. Again, I'm sorry for the bad lighting, but this just gives you an idea of what I do for females. Um, this is non-breeding season. These guys are done laying. Um, and I basically set them up just like the male. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be uploaded at the same time, but I got a male in one of these. Um, 28, it's a 100 gram male. These are about 45 gram females. When they're full, right before breeding, they're going to be around 55 to 60 grams. Um, but I set them up the same way. Moist hide, water dish, food, dust of calcium, and keep it clean. Um, and I've been switched them to two females during non-breeding season. I used to keep three to four. Um, I am going to change my ways and only keep two in a tub at a time. Um, I just want to see if I can do some more select breeding. Um, here's a nice bell to show you guys the difference. I have a bell underneath. Once I get the cage clean I'll show you. Uh, that's a darker bell. That's a lighter bell. Show you some difference. This one lost its tail from breeding. I don't know if it was a female or a male that did it, the male that did it, but uh, she lost her tail, I want to say, a few days after I got her. Um, but there's a female cage. Thought I'd show you guys mealworms. Um, I'm actually thinking about going just to mealworms. Um, don't mind the mess, I am trying to move. Um, but this is where I would keep the superworms. And I'm not liking keeping super worms. I'm thinking about just starting to order this, see if, how long this can last me. Um, this is about 5,000, maybe a little bit more. Um, but we'll see. 